Oh. <laughs> She's cruising. I don't think it has any business being that fast. bush into a jump oh yeah soaks it up all day with this There is a big rock right over here that I crashed into like twice now. Part of an old foundation here. Where did it go? It keeps sneaking up on me. Yeah, right there. That's not good for the underside of your car. But uh, she took it. Damn. How's it going? Not bad. Oh yeah? Yeah, this is a beast. Soaking it up. Oh, oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, I don't know what that was. Almost lost it there. Oh. 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 That was a rock. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna try to literally ramp this bush. I don't think you can really pick it up on camera here, but normally that would just stop the car. I'm hoping I can actually just hit this and jump it. See what happens. Try it. Oh, right over it. Nice. Just soaking up the bumps. Look at that. You can feel the weight of this thing when you drive it. 
That's for sure. She body leans, but it's good. Oh, oh, I don't know what that was. She just takes this, guys. Can the poor old broke little Sentin with its busted servo saver still take the jumps and abuse just like the Mojave? Well, we're gonna find out. Oh, oh, immediately flipped it over. Dang. Broken and all, she's still going. All right guys, so now after bashing the Mojave around for a good little bit there, full battery cycle, we'll just go over it. You saw I crashed into a couple big rocks there. We jumped it, tore it around. And I gotta say, I really, really enjoy this truck. Pretty much took that uh, all those hits like it was nothing. Per my last video, you saw that I did break this, um, unfortunately. I did try to kind of make it work, but it didn't. But it's actually still attached, and you'd never know it was missing when the body's on. But uh, after we smashed into a few of those big rocks over there that I didn't really notice, you can see there's a good amount of uh, gouges and scuffs the bottom definitely grinded on some rocks there but all in all she held up great I mean I wasn't going super crazy but I mean I just got this thing out the box not just a few days ago I wanted to show you guys real quick just to uh, give you an actual size reference here when we're looking at the Mojave versus the Sentin because the Sentin isn't really a small truck, to say the least. It's a one-tenth scale, but the Mojave here is one-seventh. And you can clearly see that here, how much bigger in size this thing is. If you're not really worried about money, then I would definitely go for the Mojave just because it's so big. It's so cool, guys. It is just a monster of a truck, and it just flies soaks up bumps jumps like it's nothing and it's just so nice to drive but if you want to save some cash there is nothing wrong with the Sentin this truck has taken so much abuse and I got it modded to 4s so I'm beating the crap out of it all the time the only problem is I stripped out my servo steering servo so she's having a little issues in the steering department right now but for a little over 300, you could send this thing all day. Like I said, modified it to 4S. I crashed it, smashed it. It runs fine. But if you're willing to spend closer to the $700 mark, this big beefy Mojave is just so cool and so fast. I love it. Either truck, guys, you'll have all day fun with. I guess it's just personal preference. For me, I decided to get them both because two is better than one. I hope you guys uh, enjoy seeing me throw this beefy beast around. And once we get the steering controls, my newer uh, steering servo, we're going to continue to full send this puppy all across everywhere because she's still got plenty of life to give. And then this Mojave, yeah, we're going to just keep at it we're gonna see how we can modify it what we can do to it and continue to full send